Oh, it's you two. I suppose that makes me the last one, then. We better get a move on, or else we'll never hear the end of it from Kisara. Right you are. A month has passed since we vanquished Volron. I would have thought that the Renans on Lenigus would have made their move by now. Yet they still remain as silent as ever. We have no idea what happened to Volron's body, nor its whereabouts. The Red Woman also has yet to reappear, for that matter. And contrary to what I had heard, when the Renis Alma formed, not five, but six elements were present, with darkness constituting the sixth and final Master Core. Were either of you aware of this? You mean about the Renis Alma? Of course not. Same. I had no idea a Darkness Master Core even existed. What about Xion's Maiden powers? No. That was the first I learned about that, too. Or anything about having that power. Me too. I remember thinking the same thing. What could it all mean, I wonder? There are so many questions with too few answers. Particularly when it comes to that Red Woman and her abilities. Or at any other ability that used astral energy, I'd say it was an astral art. But hers was... different. Speaking of astral energy, we also mustn't forget that while the other Master Cores disappeared when forming the Renis Alma, for some reason the Fire Master Core remained. It may well have been the work of your maidenly powers. Alfin, are you still able to wield the Blazing Sword as before? For now, at least. That Renis Alma sucked most of the energy out of the Fire Master Core, but it still has enough for me to use the sword. And the sword is safe inside of me for the time being. Good. At least that's one thing we needn't concern ourselves over. You can say that again. We have more than enough to deal with as it is. Let's go. Hey, wait up! I heard we are all to meet at the castle entrance. This is Ganya, who has a problem he needs help with. I was just about to ask him what that problem is. All right, then. Well, tell us what's on your mind, Ganya. I'm hungry. You're hungry? Where are your rations? Did you not get yours? I did. Are they not enough? No, I have enough. Then what's the problem? Uh... Alfin, you have to remember. These people aren't used to responding so quickly. Be slow and gentle with him. Oh, right. I forgot. Sorry about that. So you have your rations, and it's enough food. But there's still something wrong with them. What is it exactly? I'm hungry. Yeah, I got that part. Do your rations taste bad? I don't know. What's that supposed to mean? I haven't eaten them, so I don't know how they taste. Wait! If you're not eating them, then what are you doing with them? Bringing them into the castle. What? Why? Wait, back up. Are others doing this? Who told you to bring your rations in? Everyone in my group is doing it. I don't know who told us to do it. They only said to bring the rations into the castle. I'm guessing none of us told them to do it or else we'd know, right? I was afraid that something like this might happen. The people in this capital are slowly regaining their own wills, but not everybody is getting them back at the same rate. Are you saying someone who got their will back sooner might be taking rations from other people? If so, that's a serious problem.
Definitely. This is something we can't ignore. It seems like the people here still tend to blindly follow any orders they're given. It's a reflex that was quite literally beaten into them. Undoing it will take some time. I know it's not their fault they're like that, but it's still irritating to deal with. Hey, remind me, just what exactly are we all doing here? What do you mean? We're helping people, aren't we? Could have fooled me. Lately, it feels like everything we're doing ends up half-baked. <laughs> we liberated the people of Pelegian, but their hearts and minds are no less under the yoke than the day we found them. As for Volron's cronies, we have no idea where they scampered off to. You think I don't already know all that? We're doing everything we can, aren't we? We didn't choose to get stuck here. Sometimes you have to play the hand you're dealt. Besides, you've seen all the same things I have. You know as well as I do that deposing the Lords alone won't solve all the world's problems. Rinwell's right. We've gotten this far, haven't we? We can't just leave things unfinished now. I guess? I mean, I didn't think we'd be singing around the campfire as soon as the wall came down, but still. The fight isn't over just yet. At least not while Lenigus remains a threat. I'm just sick of all this waiting. If they're gonna invade, why don't they get a move on already? Stop that! Don't you think we've got enough problems as it is without you tempting fate? No. Just wondering if I could see any armored guards. Armored guards? You mean Voron's soldiers? The moment we defeated their lord, all those guys bolted out of there. And not just out of the castle either. The city, too. For better or worse, it was the guards who looked after the city's Danons. Without them, making Pelegian half habitable again has been one big headache. It's not like they were on their last legs. They could have chosen to stay and fight, but instead they ran away and disappeared without a trace. But without a lord to follow, they can't have any place to go. Unless... You don't think they went to Lenigus, do you? It's not completely out of the question. Though I'd say it's more likely they're biding their time somewhere, just waiting for the perfect moment to strike back at us. The people here in Pelegian are nowhere near ready to defend themselves. <sighs> Great. Another headache to worry about.